YouTube, what's up? Um, ignore the markings on my arm for right now. Um, oh, on my hand. So, I've kind of been contemplating on doing this video. And, um, I guess it's finally time for me to talk. Because I am sick of keeping it bottled up inside. Um, and it, for me, it's not good for my mental health. It's not good for my mental stability. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, I am a demisexual, which is true. I, I've had a past trauma that makes me, like, makes it hard for me to be physically connected with someone. It's hard for me to feel like I can do certain things with my partner. And... But I really have to have a strong emotional bond with a per with my partner in order to for me to feel even remotely comfortable talking about that. Um, and I can develop. I can have platonic relationships, and it, it really doesn't mean anything. So. February 5th of last month, I had met someone on a site, like if, I shouldn't really say dating site because it's not really for dating, it's for like just anybody, um, and it's called Meet Me. Now, though, now you have to be 18 years or older to have an account on this site because no minors allowed. For whatever reason. So I meet this guy on Meet Me. And he's about 33. And I'll just call him Butthole for specific reasons later on in the story. Now, Butthole isn't his real name, obviously. But Butthole had told me straight up that he's kind of seeing someone. And that he kind of, and I told him that I just kind of want to be friends, I'm kind of just looking for friends on the site, which is true, I'm always looking for new friends and people to hang around, hang around me with, but he lives in Virginia, which is like an hour-ish, like 30 to an hour, half an hour to an hour-ish drive, if you want to go somewhere, from North Carolina, which is where I currently live. And so, with this guy, we were chatting for weeks. For a couple weeks. Um, but he, he told me, he gave me his cell number and I texted him. And we kind of moved from like the meet me messages to texting. Um, and, like, we were texting for, a uh, less than a week. Now, Febu- like, February, 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 um, February, about February 23rd, he kind of started to ghost me on, in messages, which really hurt me badly. During these couple weeks, because we kind of, like, talked about anything and everything, and, like, before that, I, like, um, like, the... Thursday, I started writing love letters to him because my feelings were so intense, but I couldn't tell him because he was dating somebody. And I've written him five love letters. And he, I had one, like, at the beginning, I 
he said that he wanted a pair of shoes. Like, they were replica shoes of, like, $500 shoes. And they were, like, $150 ish. So, because I knew I was getting my tax returns early in February, I told him that I could help him. I could give him, like, $100 towards these shoes. Um, so I gave him 50 then. Like, I gave him $50 that day that I got my tax returns. And then on Friday, which is when I got paid the same week I got my tax returns, I gave him another 50 now, Saturday is when I got my new tattoo, which is right here, Lady from Lady and the Tramp. And so, he drew me a picture in response to that. And the picture is of an anime yandere girl. Yandere girl and she says, be careful of who you let taste your love and it has a link it's the yonder girl is thinking of a realistic looking heart that he drew himself and it looks beautiful and the lettering was cut out from like a magazine which is a nice added touch that i thought but the thing was <sighs> Sunday, February 23rd is when he decided to have ghosted me and I haven't heard anything from him for the past week now. Almost two. And so I give him, like, I didn't give him, like, a, like, I didn't tell him a specific time frame. I just basically waited a day and hoped that he would message me again and tell me that he was busy doing something all day or whatever but no and for like a couple days I haven't heard anything from him via text I deleted everything of him I sent everything related about butthole to my friend in South Carolina. Um, now he's one of my best friends. And I appreciate him for everything that he's done for me. And like during the week of Valentine's Day. I had picked out a special card that I wanted to send off to him. But I never did. Thank God for that. Um, after I had sent... um. He had sent, like, inside the, uh, picture that he gave me, he sent, he, he put in a letter, which was so sweet, and on the back of the drawing, it said, always butthole. Now, always is a reference to Harry Potter, where Snape, um, basically loves Lily and everything, so... Just knowing that he ghosted me for a week, for like a couple days, really hurt me. And then a few days later, he has the nerve to view my Meet Me profile. And then two of my photos. I had got Meet Me Plus so I can see who views my photos, who views what photos and stuff, and how many photos they view. And at the same time, it's like, really? You don't message me for a few days. Then you decide to just look at my profile and a couple of my photos. Like, that hurt so much. And I really, really hate him right now. For making me cry, for making me upset. And... I just hate him right now. And then when I had logged into my Facebook today, and today I kind of signed up for Facebook dating, I scroll through my feed and I see that he was one of the suggested friends for me. And it's like, are you kidding me? He's haunting me and I hate it so much. <laughs> I hate 
him. I hate the way that he's still making me cry even after a week. After two weeks of not communicating. <sighs> so, the reason why I made this video was to give you basically an update. Because I haven't really updated you guys in a little while. Um, and with my friend in South Carolina, he burned the letter he wrote to me. He burned the, uh... He burned my Valentine's Day card that I never sent to him. He's going to keep the photo that he sent me. He's going to keep all five love letters that I wrote to Baho. Oh gosh, he is, um, he is a great friend and I'm so happy for him. <laughs> because he helped me through all of it. He helped me overcome like he made me stop being so basically addicted to butthole because I always just wanted to talk to him I wanted to spend all day talking to him or whatever and but it's hard for me because I don't know what to do I I want to let go so bad but at the same time I want to keep holding on to hope that he will get back to me and still nothing so uh, as I was gonna say in earlier before I went on to another little tangent was the fact that I wanted um, my next video I'm going to do a single kind of thing a sing a singing cover to look what you made me do by taylor swift it's a song that i resonate with so much right now and i didn't know that i needed it till today so love you guys and thank you for listening to my rant so i'll, I'll see you in my next video bye